Price of wheat's fallen over 50 cents over the past couple weeks. And Kim, are we ever going to see $7 wheat again? Well, that's the question that most producers have been asking me. And, and the truthful answer is, is nobody knows. We've discussed this before, that it's, it's, it is impossible to predict prices. No one can do that. Okay, what are you watching for in the markets right now? Well, that's what we can watch. We can watch what's going on in the markets. We can look at the volatility to see what the prices are doing. Uh, right now, we're, we're bidding off the September uh, KC contract. Uh, if you look at the uh, support prices, uh, that price is about oh six dollars and seventy six seventy five right now. It's got weak support at six eighty, uh, and stronger support at six forty, and that means that it's probably going to touch those points, bounce a little bit, and either go on down or turn back up. The resistance, in other words, if it was to turn up, it's got resistance at seven and resistance at seven forty. Okay, six dollar wheat. That's kind of that's kind of iffy right now. Is there a bottom with that? Well, we don't know how low prices are going. As uh, we've discussed before, there's, there's a lot of wheat around the world, not much. The United States is kind of short on wheat, but the foreign uh, wheat is uh, abundant. Uh, you can look at last year. Uh, we had a, the bottom at $5.92, and uh, for the marking year, the top was at eight oh nine. If you uh, look at the Oklahoma average monthly prices, which I think are more realistic because you're not going to hit the top or the bottom in any month. Uh, the bottom was $6.10, and that's after storage and interest was taken out, and the top was at $7.35, which was at harvest. Okay, why, why, why are we seeing these prices right now? Well, I think it's because of the, the amount of wheat that we've got in the world. If you look at uh, foreign wheat production, the last year is 24.1 billion bushels, this year 23.8, world production 26.2. Uh, last year, uh, 23.8 this year, short in the U.S., 1.9 billion bushels this year, 21, 2.1 2 last year. You look at our ending stock, short in the U.S., uh, 593 million bushels last year. Remember, our average is around 700. Uh, this next year, 574. But if you look at the world, uh, 6.2 billion bushels last year, 6.4 higher ending stocks. 6.4 billion bushels for next year. Okay, I'm going to ask you the question that you earned the big paycheck for. What should marketing strategies be right now? Well, I think there's uh, some different strategies this year. Uh, one, uh, if you can't afford any risk, you need the money, you can sell all the wheat for about $6.65, somewhere right in there. Uh, or you can store the wheat if you're, say, storing it till December 1, your break even price after subtracting the uh, storage out of it, 650. In other words, you've got to get at least 650 for it mm -hmm. to break even with selling it today. A, a strategy I like this year is to sell it and buy a call option contract, a Kansas City December con uh, call option contract. Buy about a 390. It's going to cost you 35 cents. In that case, you're going to sell all your wheat for 665. You're going to subtract the 35 cents off of that, and that's $6.30 net. However, you're going to save that, oh, 15, 16 cents that mm -hmm. uh, you would have put into storage. You won't be spending that, so that makes your, your actual net around 6.45 after you. And now that's going to protect you till about November the 21st. If you want protection out into February, February 20th to be exact, by a March KC uh, 390 call, you can get that for about a nickel more. So your price is going to be minimum price six twenty-five. Add back on your storage saved. That's uh, six forty, and that's going to cut. And your call will cover you until about February twenty. Okay. In all of that, I did not hear once a third, a third, and a third. Why not? Well, I think you've got other options. Me personally, mm -hmm. I would probably go with a third, and a third, and a third because that's what I do every year. That's right. what I'm comfortable with, and that's going to give me dollar cost averaging. Okay, Kim Anderson, Grain Marketing Specialist here at Oklahoma State University.